Hello, hello. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Manx and I like to read and share incoherent thoughts on the internet. Today, we're doing a summer reading list plan. I am currently getting sick. It's really raining outside and it's not the mood. But we'll carry on. I also want to say that this doesn't mean I will read these books. <laughs> and it doesn't mean I will only read these books. These are books that I want to get to. But if I will, if I won't, who knows. I don't know what any of these books are about. I don't read synopsis. I only go off impressions that I have and if I feel like I want to read that or not. So that's the situation. I don't, I will not be giving synopsis or anything like that. The first book that I have on this list is also on my spring reading list that I didn't get to finish in the springtime, but I will finish it now. I currently, I'm currently in the middle of it in like I've been reading it for the past month. And I just, I need to finish it. Let's speed this up. The book is A Little Life by Anya Yanagahara. And yeah, I'm in the middle of it. I haven't picked it up for weeks and I really want to get to it. This is about for friends in New York, by the way. Like I, I'm not going to say anything else because I want this book, this video to be like quick and short. Just a list. I don't want to be rambling about books and about things that I'm not sure the books are about. The next two books were also on my spring reading list and I didn't get to read them. So the first one is The Virgin Suicides by Jeffrey Eugenides. This is about four sisters and they kill themselves. That's what I know. <laughs> and yeah, I really want to get to this. Didn't have the chance this spring. We'll make it a priority this summer. We'll make it a priority. The next one is Lolita by Vladimir Novikov. I've also talked about this in my spring reading list video. If you want to check that out, I'll leave the link in the description. But yeah, these were the three books that were on my spring reading list that I didn't get to finish and didn't even get to. And I will make a priority this summer. So until September, these will be read. <laughs> then I have new books that I haven't mentioned in my spring reading list that I am mentioning now and the plan is to read them this summer. In first place, I'm saying first place, but like there's no order to this obviously. Never Let Me Go by Kazu Ishiguro. I don't know anything about this, I just know he won the Nobel Prize for Literature and I'm here for it, I wanna see what it is about. I also have heard really good reviews, so yeah. I don't know if this is like a summer appropriate books. Like these are not summer books. They don't have summer as a theme. These are just books that I want to get to in this summer, during summer 2023. Then I want to get to Animal Farm by George Orwell. This is a Portuguese copy, a Penguin classic Portuguese copy of Animal Farm. Two years ago, I read 1984 and I loved it. And then I like immediately bought this and didn't read it because I wasn't in the mood and I didn't want to read something similar in any way, shape or form. So I haven't picked it up, but it's been two years. It's time now and I will get to it. Then we have a book that I've talked about on this channel. I think I've mentioned it multiple times. We're making it happen. We are making it happen. And that is Doom by Frank Herbert. This is so long. I think this is going to be a dry read. But I really want to read it. I think it will be interesting in its own way. And yeah. I really want to get to it. I feel like this will be good for summer because it will be like a desert and it will be hot. So I will be hot while reading this and I can relate to them in that aspect. Hopefully the only aspect. Uh, I also mentioned before that I did want to get to this before 
the second Dune comes out because I loved the first movie, that's the reason I got the book and then I was like I'm just gonna wait till the second movie comes out to start reading this and then I'll rewatch the first one. So the goal is to read this before the second Dune comes out. Why not this summer? This feels right, it feels right to read this this summer. Then I have two books. I only have two more books that I really want to get to. The first one is Upstream by Mary Oliver. I've spoken about this in my recent vlog, if I'm not mistaken, because I was hauling this and I'm really excited. I have read her poetry collection, Dreamwork, and I really enjoyed it and I feel like this will be good. This is a collection of essays about nature and I feel like they will be wonderful for summertime and I think it will be really nice. Lastly, I also mentioned this in my last vlog, in the same one that I hauled this one, and that is, no one is talking about this by Patricia Lockwood. I really want to get to this. I feel like this will be, I feel like this will be nice to read on like public transport because it's little snippets, little fragments, and you will have to get immersed in the story because I really only have 15 minutes every day on public transport, like 15 minutes to go to work and then 15 minutes to come back. The rest of the time I walk and I can read. So I feel like this will be perfect for that and I really, I'm really excited to get to it. These are the physical books that I want to get to. And that, these are the books that I own that I want to get to. I also, and I have mentioned this previously, have an ebook of Happy Place by Emily Henry. And I really want to get to it. And I haven't felt like it, but I feel like summer can be kind of perfect for that type of book. And it seems like a summer read. I don't know much about it, to be honest. So those are the books that I want to get to this year, this summer, summer of 2023. I'm still in my internship, I don't have that much time, but I do want to make time and build routines for reading and everything else so I can get stuff done even when I'm in my internship. And those are the plans. Because I'm in my internship, I won't have like summer vacation I always do so much reading in my summer vacations with my parents because I literally don't do anything else. I'll always be reading. This year I won't have that. I, and that's kind of sad, but it's okay. It's life. And that's just how it is. Thank you so much for being here. Tell me what you're planning on reading this summer. And if any of those books are the same as the ones that I'm planning. And yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.